All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you, this is on um, Malinovka. And on this map, guys, for the ELC, it is extremely, it's an extremely easy map to spot on. It's wide open, just like uh, Prokhorovka. And um, what I'm going to do here is just run over to this bush. And this is a very, if, if you play World of Tanks, more than likely you know about this bush. This is a very, very popular bush to passive scout in and I come up here and immediately on this IS-2 we're gonna get a lot of spotting damage and this is a very easy area to come up to guys in something like the ELC or even like a bat chat or something like that uh, AMX uh, it's a really good spot that you can get to nine times out of ten you probably won't be lit however you have to be very careful of people that might blind fire this bush because it's literally the only bush that you could sit in that allows you to spot like here and here and here so when people realize that if you have good players on the enemy team they'll realize that and they go he has to be here now you could be in here but chances are like if these guys just went by if you were smart on the enemy team you go well he's probably not here so if you see you see what i'm what i'm saying here um this is a very common area so people might blind fire i've been blind fired here many times and uh, I just want to explain that to you guys, that even if you, you start taking hits here, move in the bush and just, you don't have to leave. But if you're getting blind fired excessively, then you're going to have to get out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to fast forward through this a little bit. Um, it's a fairly long game, so we'll try and get through it rather quickly. Um, we're at 1,700 spotting damage. We spotted four vehicles. We spot the STRV coming down here. Now, the problem with this bush right now, guys, is that all my uh, um, teammates are kind of in odd areas right like the heavies are making their way up but we have no one going up to the hill actually i'm sorry we have one su-130 kind of at the back side of the hill here we have no mediums really trying to push this corner which is fine usually you'll get a medium that might push up through here too we have no one there and we're getting spotting damage on the skoda over here bat chat moves up and i was looking at this guy the whole pretty much for the whole time i was here and uh, no one was getting shots at him they pick off the su-130 but anyway, guys, you'll see that like all my teammates, like I have two heavies over here that were camping the back. The Skoda's here. They're just kind of in weird areas, especially these two mediums. So this play is working well, but not as well as it could be if I think we had a few more people up here and stuff. However, the bat chat spots the SE-130. So in reality, it probably wasn't the best move to have people up there. So we get another 422 spotting on the Yag Tiger who was up here. And he's moving back. And I believe I took shots at this guy um and didn't didn't get spotted uh a little a little after this and i'm going to keep speeding through this guys just so we can get through it and uh you'll see like this bat chat was just sitting here for the longest time and i was focusing on him and trying to see if someone was going to take shots at him and i think i eventually just um took the took the shot here and uh killed him and moved so yeah eventually we i take two shots at him there and I kill him, and then I get moving. The Yag Tiger, I knew the Yag Tiger was there, so I wanted to make sure I really um, meandered my way out of here, guys, so that I didn't take a shot from him. And we're at 3,400 spotting damage, guys, and now we're at 415 damage, and we have one frag because we killed the uh, Batchat 12T. And what I'm going to do now is, because I feel like this team, this enemy team, is not that great, I'm going to return to the same bush, because here I'm able to spot the STRV, and I'm kind of keeping this side of the map from being pressed by the enemy team so now you'll see we get 652 spotting damage on the strv there i believe it was probably either the skoda or is2 or somebody like that that either hit him twice or the is2 took a nasty shot at him and we're able to get a lot of damage on him and that's important because i see that we're losing the hill so we need to at least have control maybe not even have control of this but make sure they're not going to press this side of the map right guys so i'm going to move through here like this try and keep somewhat distance away from the strv but what i wanted is i wanted him to die and then as i'm seeing this guys i'm thinking okay it's 8-8 eight, eight. so what would be the better move here is it a better play to try and take this side of the map and go up the hill or is it a better play to go spot the heavies and in this instance guys it's a better play to go spot the hill and not try and press the side because all my teammates are coming back to defend 
and they're going to be blind for the most part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push all the way up through this little uh, uh, pond area here, come all the way up into these bushes here, and what I'm going to do is I see that this is a good area to spot them from coming around the corner, uh, spot them coming around the corner. So I sit right here, guys, and I'm even able to get shots off at this T28 prototype without getting lit. So that's a plus because these guys don't have the greatest of view range. So I'm sitting here, guys. We're at almost 5,000 spotting damage, and this is a good spot because what I'm going to do is, like I said, spot them all coming down the hill, and then my teammates will have shots. So there we miss a shot now. Like I always say, guys, this gun is not that great. We get another shot into the T28 prototype, and at this point, I'm lit. Now, I know that the T28 prototype was a one-shot, so that was that was good. I know the already can even get a splash on him, and he will die, and sure enough, that's what happened. So now I'm going to make a move to go up this way. I know that there's only a few heavies left up here. I'm going to spot the M103, see if I can maybe get a shot on him, shot or two in on him and kill him. But what I'm also doing in this situation is I know that I'm spotted, right? Now, I take a shot there, but I'm able to put one into him, and someone else's as well, and we get the kill. But what I wanted to do here was, if he wasn't going to poke away from that rock, was spot the rest of the hill, and then shoot back down the hill again. This way, I'm allowing my team to see all these guys. So, instead, we get the kill there, and now I'm going to come up into this bush and see what I can spot. Now, I'm making sure that I'm not lit here, and I don't believe I was lit. So, I take a shot there from the T26E5. Thankfully... That kind of goes off the top of my turret, kills my gun, and it only does 59 damage to the tank, which is incredible, guys. I probably should have almost died there. But what, we're, what we do in this in this scenario is we, we're, we're just spotting the hill, and we spot the T26E5, and he dies, guys. And that's all this is here. I'm just going to where my team needs me to be. Now that it's 12-9 and all that's left is the Emil, we're going to pop up here, see if we can spot the Emil, and... Sure enough, this guy, I, I'm pretty sure, like, runs all the way down the other side of the hill, and he's over by, like, where this Yag Tiger was or something. I can't quite remember. I played this game a few a few days ago. But um, we're going to go down the hill, and um, I, there, I was saying something. I think someone was trying to talk crap in the chat, and uh, basically I said, look, you know, just, I I'm carrying this game, so just shoot what I spot, please. Let's get the win. People get so toxic in the chat, guys. Anyway, we spot the Yag, the Yag Tiger, and we we get him killed, and we're at 7,400 spotting damage, guys, and because we're going through this foliage area, there's a lot of cover, so we're able to spot the Artie, and I don't even think he spotted me there, which is incredible. I don't know how that was even possible, but we get him killed, and now we're just looking for this Emil, guys, and now that I remember, he pops up way over here in the, um, in the corner, and... We're able to, uh, and I think he was a pretty good player. I know I don't have XVM, but I think this guy was like a, like a Unicom, like blue player, and he's pretty good. And I think he's just trying to get some shots off before he eventually dies. Here, um, we're able to put one shot into the side of this guy's turret, and people end up cleaning him up, and we do 1,042 damage, 7,873 spotting damage. I don't have the M plates, guys, but I believe in the M plates. This was like 8,300 spotting damage because, like you know, some people go dark. After, after a second, someone will shoot in that area and get you spotting damage, but technically it's not counted until the end. Now, again, guys, this was a mastery. This was my, my fourth mastery badge in the ELC even. And this is a very easy map for it. Like I said, it's wide open, guys. There's um, a lot of bushes where you can get spotting damage and not get lit yourself. Um, fairly easy game for me, guys, but what I want to emphasize is that it's important to just not go to one bush and sit there for the entire game. See where your team needs you and play to that uh, role. You have to play as a light tank role. So where your team needs you, respond to that area. Um, it's, it's really that simple, guys. And, you know, find some bushes to sit in. The ELC is invisible. I was able to do that here, and that's that's all it was. I mean, this was a great game. 8,000 spotting damage, 1,000 damage. But really, all I did was passive scout, guys, like pretty much. I really didn't do anything else. So use the, the terrain to your advantage. Use the map to your advantage, guys. On a map like a wide-open city, or a, rather a small city map, you'll never get a game like this. But it's important to, when you get maps like uh, Malinovka or... Uh, Prokhorovka or maps like that to really try and get a good game and 
get all the spotting damage you can and take advantage of having that RNG for that good of a map. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.